No matter your dress code, you definitely need a good scarf collection for the colder months. So in this video, I am going to share two types of scarves that I recommend you have and four ways to tie your scarves because it can be super confusing how to wear them. So let's dive into it. First, let's talk about scarf fabrications. So what I personally wear and recommend is that you have one light color scarf and then you have one dark color scarf. So that could mean you have one navy, one heather gray, you could do black, one gray, uh, whatever your preference is, you wanna have versatility in your closet. So again, I recommend one light color, one dark color. In terms of fabrications, there are so many different fabrics to choose from, right? So two of my favorite, uh, the first is 100% cashmere. So as you can see, this cashmere is super soft. I mean, look how soft this is. Um, it's kind of see-through too, so it's very lightweight, but cashmere is a natural fabric that will breathe, that won't trap heat. It looks great for any dress code, any body type, highly recommend a cashmere scarf. Uh, cashmere scarves also do come in a heavier knit, so it has different uh, layers of cashmere. And as you can see, this has a ribbed texture to it. So if I hold it up against the other, it just has a bit more texture. Um, it's also heathered. So you can either go for a one ply or a multi ply if you want more texture. I personally love both. If you like super lightweight, soft, if you want to feel like a blanket, uh, if you're wearing a blanket, definitely get this one. This is a little heavier. All right, and then the second fabric that I recommend, and you will actually see most men's scarves in this fabrication is wool or a wool blend. So as you can see, this definitely has more structure to it. It's not as drapey, it's not as flowy. If I hold up the first one, you can see the difference, right? This one feels a bit more feminine, more drapey. This one definitely feels more masculine with the structure, and it also feels a bit more formal. Now, um, this scarf in particular, I love because I got it in Japan, one of my favorite places, and there are two different colors. So on one side is maroon, the other side is a chalk stripe print, and it looks really, really cool. So. If you're starting out your scarf collection, I recommend one light color, one dark color, and then uh, one more structured fabric. So I would go with a wool or a wool blend, and then one softer fabric, which is uh, cashmere. All right, so now that we've gone through the fabrications and the color options, let's talk about how to wear or, wear or tie your scarves. So let's first start, and I'm going to do it on a longer scarf. So this is the 100% cashmere. As you can see, it is very, very long. So let's do the ties on this one. So the first tie that I love to wear and I recommend is just a simple, you're gonna put your uh, arm in the middle of the scarf so the ends are even. And then what you're gonna do is wrap it around. So you want the shorter, you want it to be shorter on your left side and on your right side, you can see all the fabric. And then you're gonna tie once, so you can see the volume. And then you're gonna tie twice and tuck in the excess right there. So as you can see, this has a lot of bulk right here. So this works best with lighter fabrications and longer scarves as well. I would not be able to do that with this scarf here because it is a lot shorter. Now, if this is too much for you and you feel like you're suffocating, then what you can do, and this is the second way, so this is a two loop, we're gonna do a one loop instead. So just take one off and then you're gonna fix the middle part so the ends are even. That's kind of a good marker, okay? And then you can just fluff up the top a little bit and you have it that way. You can tie it over if you wanna put your jacket on. So this is a single loop, the second way to wear your scarf. Now, the third way, which I, how I wear my scarf most oft often is 
the wrap around. So what you're gonna do is put your arms or your hands right in the middle of the scarf so the ends are going to be even. And then you're going to literally wrap it around your neck. Bring the two ends to the front and there you go. I love this, it's so easy to do. And remember, it does not have to be perfect, okay? It doesn't have to be folded perfect or anything. In fact, it looks better if it's not too perfect. So this is the wraparound. And say you are going out and it's snowing or it's super cold, what you can do is tie this if you have a longer scarf, put that around your neck to keep you warm, put on your coat or jacket and you are out the door, all right? So this is scarf, how to wear your scarf, tip number three, and this is the wraparound. Next is a more traditional way, and it is just a single loop. So what you're gonna do is again, put your hand in the middle of the scarf so the ends are even. You're gonna grab the end. See how the loop is here on the right side, you have the end on your left side, and then you're literally just going to put it through the hole. So then you have that look. And if any tags are sticking out, just tuck them in so you don't see them. And this is another great way to wear your scarf. This way also looks really, really great with more structured material uh, with a wool or wool blend scarf. So you can do this, grab the ends, loop it through, fluff it a little, and you're good to go. See how it it's not only functional because it will keep you warm, but it looks great too. It doesn't look sloppy and it's so easy to put on. So if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to share it with a friend and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Next Level Wardrobe and visit my website where I post tons of helpful tips and recommended brands and style stories on my website, www.nextlevelwardrobe.com.